So let us get started. So we're now on to part four. I think we're moving through A Realm Reborn pretty quick. A Realm Reborn Part 4 With the hard-won aid of the Company of Heroes, the adventurer succeeds in vanquishing Titan, the Lord of Crags. And though she arrives too late to aid in the battle, Yastola chances to discover that the Garlean Empire is in league with the Asians, an unsettling revelation that serves to com compound the intrigue. Oh, okay, she's right there. All good things. Ishtola is keen to discuss your next task. Though word will already have reached Maelstrom Command, protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Lavenza. Once again, I commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. So yeah, I honestly... I mean, I know... Garuda is next in line of primals. That's the only thing I've really remembered of kind of the course that A Realm Reborn takes. So, and I don't really recall how we get to Garuda. So. It's like I think I've, I've already kind of said it's it's like new but not new because <laughs> I, I don't remember so much. Thank you for coming, Lavenza. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First Ifrit and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limsa Laminza are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Science of the Seventh Dawn. <laughs> Lavenza, this is Minfilia. Ishtola has informed me of has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Ishtola emerged from Ogomoro unscathed. Why, Tataru and the others seemed as glad of that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. I mean, I guess since I'm in uh, Limza... Might as well go the uh, the quick path. What are we at? Arcanist Guild, and then take the boat to um, Vesper Bay. Wow. Ooh. Have I seen this cutscene yet? 
I think I've always just gone to Horizon and flown there. So this is fancy. Assuming I haven't already taken this route on the stream. Ooh. More cutscenes. Very nice. Why are there people waiting outside? Was that screaming I heard? I'm not sure I want to know. You hear that commotion just now? What in the seven hells were they doing in there? Rustling a paste? You look like the adventurous type. Mind taking a quick look? Is this? The, um... The, uh... Yeah, the Waking Sands gets attacked. And that's, um... When... We become the... Rising stones or whatever when we move to Mordona. For some reason, I thought that happened after Praetorium. <gasps> Noraxia. This one is glad. Walking one is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Oh wow, so this just happened? Thank heaven she is safe. Louisois, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Advance no further! Ah, uh, Livia. I knew there was a reason I didn't like you. We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. You should be glad I wasn't there. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. <laughs> Oh, 
Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the Supreme Sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. You'd be dead if I was. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. No. I told you the state. Oh, hidden. No. Conditions of surrender denied. Cease at once. Wow. <clears throat> Jeez. Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough! What a psycho. We leave. Bring the prisoners. I mean, both Livia and the dude that's just like stab happy. Walking, walking one in Philia. Ask this one to. Uh... In case walking one returned, this one was to say, to say, at church in Eastern Thanalin, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect walking one in Philia from Imperial ones. Forgive this one. Save. Oh. Or Noraxia. Just join the Scions, and it's like, immediately. Wow. So yeah, I don't know why I thought this happened after... Praetorium. Well, yeah, that was just crazy. I don't like I'm kind of like lost. Like I wasn't expecting that. And uh, of course, Livia just being a, a psycho and Garleans just. So 
so what have we got here? Is something troubling you, my child? You have the look of one who has endured great suffering. Is there anything I can do to help? Anything at all. You need only ask. What will you say? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Curse my enemies, Father. Call down divine vengeance upon those who butchered my friends. The wild roses are dead, Father, and I know not what to do. That's, I think, fitting. The wild roses? I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the Scions. All good things. How, how could this have happened? And you are certain that Minfilia was among those taken by the Garleans. Let us pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Minfilia's. I have known her since she was but a child. Well do I recall the day of our first meeting. I swore then to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly offer the selfsame service to her brother and sister Scions. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marcus, would you come here for a moment? Yes, Father. If you... <laughs> <laughs> so that's Sid. Uh, <laughs> if you require assistance, please speak with Marcus. He is a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain, Marcus is a survivor of the Battle of Cartnow. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken him into our care, he would surely have perished in the desert. Marcus, I want you to look after Lavenza. Do you understand? Yes, Father. So, wow, that is something I totally forgot. Well, yeah, like, I, I did not remember that. I mean, I didn't remember that Sid had gone missing, let alone that he was This Marcus dude or whatever. You can't take it with you. Marcus has a personal request to make of you. Excuse me, Lavenza. Do you have a moment? It concerns this broken herolog, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. Horologue. Horologue. There is something familiar about it, but just what I can't say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a 
bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle nose pincers. They are, they are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best uh, people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill. Here, take this coin purse. That should cover it. If, if there's anything I can do, please ask. That's crazy. I don't... I don't remember that at all. I mean, even more glad now that I uh, am doing New Game Plus, because there's clearly stuff that I <laughs> totally forgot. A bullpoint chisel, you say? And a pair of needle nose pincers? Those things don't come cheap, you know. Weighty coin purse. A small yet heavy leather sack containing presumably roughly the amount of gill needed to purchase the tools requested by Marcus. Sid. <laughs> uh, any surplus coin could be considered commission owed to whichever party in the transaction is bright enough to claim it as their own. Balls, balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business business with you. <laughs> I'm still just kind of blown away by that. I mean, I guess that's that's what eight years will do to you. Have you brought the tools I requested? Unlike carpenter's chisels, which have flat heads, the bullpoint chisel has a pointed one and is used by expert goldsmiths to perforate soft metals. This tool is uh, often employed by goldsmiths or clockwork engineers to seize and manipulate minuscule pieces of wire. Mm, something occurs to me. Please wait here for a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, this sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved with a mind of their own deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Lavenza. This was a mistake. Please give the horologue to uh, Sister Ilunid. The man who once owned it is certainly in her care, and I think it best that it be returned to him. So, I'm... The... The priest dude said... Like, something like, you know, something was up with his mind from the calamity, right? Because I'm, I'm getting that he's, like, got amnesia or something, but it didn't say that, right? I'm just kind of confused by all, that. like, I don't, like, I'm not confused, I'm just... Like, I don't remember this stuff, but it's, but you know how, like, you'll read something and, um, you know, you don't necessarily pick up everything as, as you're reading it. 
And, like, I don't want to spend a bunch of time, even though I'm spending it now, like, rereading stuff. But, like, I want to say, like, it didn't say he had amnesia, but it implied, like, his mind was... I'm just trying to get all the facts straight in my own head. Because, again, I, I, don't, I don't remember this stuff. Though I am not qualified to assist with the rites, I offer what assistance I can to the priest. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just getting in the way, though. Good day to you, madam. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Repaired ho horologue? Uh, by some manner of clockwork wizardry, this strange contraption can precisely measure and follow the 24 bells in a single turn of the sun. Oh, okay, so it's a watch. Could you just call it a watch instead of <laughs> making me struggle to read it? Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common in Garlemald. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Marcus said that it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear. You don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It, uh, it, it may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap more importantly, how did Marcus manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. Thank you for watching this video. I've been making a ton of progress and having a blast doing it. If you have too, don't forget to blast that like... That's dumb. <laughs> Just hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you want to see me live, please come and join me on my Twitch. The link is down below. Thank you again for watching this, and have a good one.